just want to get a coat of gesso on here now. Um, this gesso is quite cheap and it's very transparent. So I don't I'm not particularly worried about like wiping any off. You're still gonna see this stuff through it. Um the fact that it's transparent doesn't bother me because that's just gonna mean that I can do lots and lots of layers of things and stuff will still show through nicely. He's watching. <laughs> Probably get up and go in a minute. Um, I was going to do this off camera, but then I wanted to show you how I'm going to go on letters. So I can't see what you're, what you can see right now unless I bend down. Again, I don't want it to gather around the letters too much and make lumps and bumps. today. It was quite warm this morning but that wind is really cold now. some gesso out from there because it's built up quite a bit. edges that I haven't done so I'm sniffing a bit tomorrow in the next work on that so I'll let that dry and then I'll come back I think I'm going to do some book text image transfer 
see you later. So it's the next day, and I'm standing up again. That's in this position. I'm going to turn this up real quick. Okay. I'm going to use some of this. Okay. And I'm going to pop it down. Now, you want it fairly thick, but not really thick. It's been a while since I did this, so I hope it turns out right. And then I'm going to use a clean thing just to push that onto there. Make sure it's all touching the surface. Again. Some on the Let's see if we can get it into there as well. Although I don't think it will get in there. Let's look. I'm not going to pause the camera, I want you to see how long this takes. Um, so the reason I'm using the golden, is more expensive than other mediums, but it does allow you to do this technique. You can do this sort of thing with another medium. I used to do it with Liquitex, but with Liquitex you have to sort of let it dry completely and then rub the paper off the back. Whereas with the golden, you can... When it's set, you can just peel it off. It is important to make sure that it's really in contact with the background. So let's just go over it again. Slowly push it down. Nope. <laughs> I learned this technique from Donna Downing. I watched some of her videos on YouTube. Sort of transferred a little bit. Perhaps we need to wait a little bit longer. Let's put a bit more on there. A little 
little bit impatient, that's the problem. <laughs> Have a look. I think I've disturbed that one too much. That's not good. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> It's better to leave it too long because if it does stick, you can still rub the paper off the back. So I would say be more patient, maybe go away and do something else. not going to be perfect anyway. It's never going to be a perfect transfer. It's sort of a distressy kind of look that you're going to get and your text is going to be backwards. Should have, been, should have brought my cup of tea up. <laughs> That's it. Much better. You can see there is bit of paper left so you can just flake off like this if you let it all dry completely you can use some water to do it just spray a little bit on the back I'm loving that now I just need it to do that everywhere else <laughs>
got a little bit on the canvas in between there, but I didn't really expect much. Hmm. The end's not transferred, so I'm going to put that. Mm. That didn't work very well there, so great. <laughs> it does take a lot of patience, which I don't have. That's a little bit better. Okay. Right. Now, do I have another piece of paper? Oh, sorry. Not going to see that. Let's see if I've got any more book text in this drawer. more fresh sheets of paper I'm going to do a little bit more I'm going to stick to these areas but see if I can get something like this because I like this bit can we zoom in see this is really nice and <laughs> I'll get the hang on this one really nice. The rest is just sort of 
not there. So I'm going to do it again. What I'll do is I'll glue it down and then I'll go away and leave it. Because I'm, like I said, I'm very impatient. <laughs> I'm not letting it sit. So I will do that and I'll be back. Right. Let's see if that's got it. <laughs> Hmm. Oh yeah, a little bit there. That's nice. Yeah, very nice, very Never mind. Got a little bit. That'll do. This looks good, this looks good. Yeah, with a little bit of a spritz. I think that's all of it. And this uh, can make your hands really dirty if you do this a lot. And the ink and stuff rubs off on your fingers. Right, okay. That's okay. Now I have to decide what my next step's going to be. So I don't know whether to add any colour or not yet. So I'm going to go wait and think about it and I will upload this video so you can see where we've got so far. <laughs> 